I need a fresh manna for today. I need a fresh touch from the Lord today. Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Today, I want us to look at prayerlessness. Prayerlessness. Kutokuomba. The dangers and the loss when we don't pray. And I turn to First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse number 17. Thessalonike wa kwanza moja kumi tano kumi na saba. Pray without ceasing. What does the scripture say? Pray without ceasing. What does the Bible say? Omba bira kukoma. This is what Paul encouraged the believers that were in the Thessalonica. But before that, he told them in verse number 16, Rejoice evermore. Pray with rejoicing. 18. In everything give thanks to God, because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. When you pray, you will rejoice. When you pray, You'll come out with a characteristic of giving thanks in Christ with the many things that you will face. 19. Quench not the spirit. Do not kill the fire of God burning in you. Do not kill. Do not destroy that fire. 19 and 20. Despise not prophecy. Do not have a low opinion and a premium when it comes to prophetic words. Do not do that. Then test all things. Hold fast to that which is good. Jaribu mambo yote. Pima mambo. Angalia yale yaliyo masuri. Then abstain from more appearances of evil. Now, let's recap what I've said. When you are a person who is praying, these things will happen to you you will discover you are exalting and encouraging brethren. First Thessalonians 5.14 You will be an encouragement. You will comfort those ones who are feeble-minded. You will support the weak. You will be patient towards all men. You will not render evil for evil. Wewe auta lipisa. Mabaya kwa mabaya. You will rejoice always. You will pray without stopping. You will be very strong and constant in prayer. You will be a person who is thankful, then you will not despise the prophetic word that is given to you. You will test all things. You will test all things. You will keep off from all appearances of Evil. O type kana na maof. Ata kukaribia, hauta karibia. And then, the God of peace will sanctify you totally in your spirit, 
in your soul and in your body. Mungu atakuletea utakaso. First Samuel 12:23. First Samuel 12 and 23. Hallelujah. Samueli wa kwanza 12 23. We are looking at prayerlessness. Kutokuomba. First Samuel 12:23. The Bible says, moreover, as for me, God forbid, I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. But I will teach you the good and the right way. Mungu anisaidie, nisisau kukuombea. Prayerlessness, if we are together, amen. I think by now you have built up your prayer understanding. You have insights that have really transformed you. Prayerlessness has these kind of effects. When you discover somebody is not praying, these are the things they will begin to show. Number one, they will commit the sin of not praying. The sin of not praying. Dhambi yakuto kuomba. Number two. They grieve God's heart. Wanafuncha moyo wa mungu. When you don't pray, you grieve the heart of God. I have told you, you write one word quickly, we move on forward. Grieving the heart of God. Number three, you are careless about spiritual things. When you don't pray, you are careless in spiritual issues. Number four, when you don't pray, you are not available to God. Wewe hauko tayari kwa mungu. You are not available for God. In other words, your priorities are misplaced. There are things you consider important when before God they are not. Then, the next number, you prove that you have little real love of God. Actually, no love for God. No love for God. Hauna mapensi na mapendo kwa mungu. Okikosa kuomba. When you are prayerless, it means you are more carnal than spiritual. You are more carnal. Hachayako ni vitu vya dunia hii. You are attracted to things that satisfy your body, your eyes, your ears, and the things that you think they carry value. Then, when you don't pray, you are controlled. You are not controlled by the Spirit. How tawari we naro? Unatawari wa naro ingine. You are not controlled by the Spirit of God. When you don't pray, you are disobedient to God. Wewe ni muasi na mungu. Kama awombi. If you are not praying, you are disobedient. That means you don't qualify to be called a disciple of Christ. And because of that, you are full of issues. You are full of what? Come on. You are full of what? You are conflicting brothers. You are always looking for problems. You are always challenging pastors. You are always changing churches. You are always having things to complain. 
You are a fool of debts. <clears throat> you are asking and borrowing money and you never return. You are in conflict with your wife. In conflict with your children. You are a struggler in spiritual matters. When you don't pray, you sin against yourself spiritually. You are actually committing a sin against your spiritual man. Friends, hear me. We live because we eat. We survive because we drink water. When we miss the word of God, when prayer is not our priority, things will not go right. When you don't pray, you rob yourself of God's consciousness. Wewe onachibia kuisi mungu yuko na wewe. And this is why you find the people are going back to witches and the Satanists. They are consulting them concerning their business, their education, their careers, and their lives. Because they are not God conscious. Hawamuisi mungu. Wanaona kama shetani is more stronger, more popular than God. When you don't pray, you are a very weak. Wewe ni mudhaifu, wewe ni mnyonge. This is why you discover there are people who will attend church once in two months. Others will attend church after four months. And they will still say, I am a Christian. When you are weak, coming to the services, you come late. When you are not praying, even giving is an issue with you. You come late, you don't give. And if you give, you give very little. Because you are not fully persuaded. Somebody say, that is not me. Come on. Come on. That is not me. Hallelujah. When you don't pray, you directly sin against others. Unawakosea wengine. Unawasababisha wanaingia katika dhambi. When you are not praying, it is an evidence your attitude to God is wrong. Hesia yako na mawaso yako kuelekea kwa Mungu si nzuri. Are you taking those points? Whether you are a preacher or you are not a preacher, that's the reality. When you don't pray, you are saying and you are telling people, my relationship to Satan is more than God. Usiano wangu, mimi, na shetani, unauzito kuliko mungu. Oh, hallelujah. There are values when you pray. Kuna faida, ukiomba. I will come back to that. Let me go back to the things I have made a proposal. Are we together? Samuel wa kwanza kuminambiri shenna tato. May I not sin against you for not praying for you. Many times you will hear brothers saying, I'll pray for you. Nasikia wandu wa nasema, takukumbuka, and they know they are not doing it. It's very painful. James 4 and 17. Therefore, to him that knows to do good and does not do, to him it is sin. 
Yule anayechua kutenda mema na asitende. Ile kukosa kutokutenda ni dhambi. Amen. Hello, amen. There are so many Christians out there who will not consider these teachings important to them. The Bible calls it sin. When you look at the book of Luke 12, 47, Luka 12, 47, Hallelujah. Luke 12, 47. The word of God says, And that is servant which knew is Lord's will, Prepared not himself, neither did he, according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. Yule mtumisha liye chua mapensi ya buwana wake na haku ya fanya, atachapua viboko vingi. Prayerlessness is sin. Somebody say, Lord Jesus, deliver me from the sin or prayerlessness. They are very strong, good brothers for many years. They will never attend a prayer meeting. They will never be found in a Bible study. Their commitment to the things of God measures very low. More so on the area of of prayer. May the Lord awaken us to pray. And I think we need to watch carefully. If we become friends with such people, they will infect us with the prayerlessness. You discover you have lost interest to attending prayer meetings, to Bible study. Overnights, you will never stay there. Number two, Sin of omission will separate you and grieve the heart of God. When you don't pray, when you omit prayer, it separates you and grieves God. Kutokuomba ina kutenganisha na mungu. If you are hearing what I'm saying, look at me and say, Lord, I pray I will not be separated from you. I pray I will not grieve you by not praying. Why? Your spiritual life is weakened. Maisha yako ya kiro yanakuwa dhaifu. Yanakufa. Oh, yes. Look at me here. It will be very easy to discover you are going back to the things you used to do. Huh? When you stop the immorality, it does not mean immoral men are not around. Immoral women are not around. When you withdrew from alcohol and the cigarettes and drugs, those things are very much available. So when you don't pray, you discover you are sleeping back. Huh? It begins very slowly. The old friendships begin to be renewed again. Unakuta sire simu liku unatarachia kwamba utapigiwa, sasa unapigiwa. Huh? Hello. You discover people are sending you money and you never ask it for them. Then you say, I think I can as well as accept this money only this once. You become weak spiritually. You become useless to God. Useless to God. Hauna faida kwa mungu. That is the scene of not praying. You become useless. You become useless. You rob yourself. 
of divine rewards. Unakosa thawabu. Unakosa faida. Ambayo ni muhimu kwa maisha yako kama mtu wa Mungu. If we are together, say Lord Jesus. Deliver me. Deliver me. May I not miss my rewards. You know there are things God is longing to give you. There are pastors here. But because they were not prepared, that reward has passed to them. Five years are gone. Ten years are gone. You have sat under very enriched, anointed teaching. You have never been fully developed to become somebody. There are some of you who are supposed to be entering very powerful resources. Because of your prayerlessness, those resources evaded you. There are some of you today, you could have had your second degree, your first degree, because you are not praying, that passed you by. Kuna vitu vimekupita. And you are blaming the system. You are blaming the politics of the day. You are blaming the pastor. You are blaming your husband. You are blaming your wife. You know, there are some of you believe if I was in Nairobi, I would be having more money. I would have been doing better. It is not true. We need to be patient. We need to be sober. We need to be rational. As we pray, we will not become weak. We will not be useless to God. We will never rob our rewards and our destinies. Number three, prayerlessness is a sin of neglect that it shows one is careless about spiritual things. Careless in spiritual matters. Kutokuchari I want you to, to look at me. Do you really feel you are very good when there is an overnight in the church? People are worshipping. There are guests that have come. And you are in your house. You watch news. You watch programs up to 11. Then you go to bed. Do, do you really feel that you are doing the right thing? But you know, this is what is happening. Including leaders. Men leaders, women leaders, youth leaders, ministry leaders. They are very comfortable. They will never come to a meeting. You know, our Monday prayer meetings are scored significantly high. Huh? There are people here today who command authority and power. Huh? Some of them slowly, they have discovered even their businesses are changing. They are handling money they never handled. They are now more open to serving God than ever before. Me, I'm telling you this for free. Hallelujah. If you have an idea that I'm doing this so that the bishop can see me, so that brethren can uh, congratulate me, you are on the wrong. You are on the wrong. You are aware that I'm not preaching consistently the way I'm preaching because I'm going to derive money. Hmm? I'm not careless about spiritual matters. Your spiritual life eventually dies. You know, I've been in Eldorado since 1988, November. And there are so many people who came through my hands. 
And there are others because they did not keep track with God. You will not even know where they are today. And some of them, when you find them, you are shocked. And I Julisa, is this also part of the brothers I used to see? They have died spiritually. May I not die spiritually. May I not die spiritually. Uh, and you know, some of them have got very good excuses. Eh? I met one of them, he told me, the church which was near my house is where I attend. And then you know what? I discover they are not attending an evangelical church. How do you come to a place where you make decisions? You are spirit filled, tongue speaking, casting out devils. You join our people who are against that which you once believed. Others have married twice. Others have been married as a second wife. It's very painful. Huh? Others have slipped back into alcohol. Oh. Hallelujah. Unaonae maneno tunaongea watu wa mungu. Ni maneno itakuwa affect kwa miaka mingi sana. Na faida ni wewe. You, your marriage, your children, your grand. I need fresh manna for today. I need a fresh touch from the Lord today. Holy Ghost, I welcome you.